Okay, this video is about Ted Cruz. He's from my home state. Um, I'm totally against this guy. He's a sort of, this is who, who he is on the right. He's sort of the wonderkind amongst the Republicans having started, graduated from Harvard, went to clerk at the Supreme Court, is supposed to be, you know, real smart in constitutional law. Well, he's totally stupid when it comes to Bible law, which he alleges to be a Christian and alleges to know, because he calls abortion murder, and I just did videos showing that Exodus 21-22 flat says the opposite. Fetus is not a legal person. So if this guy is so competent in constitutional law, but so incompetent when it comes to Bible law, then he's either a liar as a Christian or just can't read, period. Okay? So that's my main reason for being critical about him. But here's another one. Um, the next point about this is that you can't find this page on the flat tax. You can't find it directly at his website. I had to ask three different times somebody else where to find this page. You can't find it at his home page. You got proven record, which gives you nothing. Ted Cruz, which is just bull baloney. SV RSVP, who cares? News, who cares? Store to buy stuff. Volunteer, and of course, donate. Look at how big the donate buttons are. The so-called proven record has almost nothing on its positions. You have to go to the news. Or, it turns out, there's no site map. See at the bottom here? There's no site map here. Constitution, that tells you nothing. Strong you save for America, duh. Life, marriage, and family. Jobs and opportunity. But not the flat tax that he's supposedly got here with his tax plan. You cannot access that from his home plate his home page. Okay, I've got the colors turned off, I think. Let me see, colors. No, I don't have the colors turned off. So these are his actual colors. I'll change the font to allow his fonts to show you how disgustingly stupid, look at how stupid this page is. Look at how gray that text is. Look how gray, you can't read it. This is his actual website with no overrides by me, okay? Colors are not overridden, all right? And the fonts are not overridden. So just fire whoever designed his website. Total jerk off, okay? Just total jerk off. You can't read it. Look how bad this is, okay? Big red buttons that you can read. Oh, give me money, give me money. But no positions. Jackass. All right, so now I've got to override it. Okay, I'm going to override the colors too. By overriding the colors, it renders the text readable. And then by overriding the fonts, it puts it in a readable font. The best font you can use for readability is Comic Sans. It looks a little childish, but who cares? Unclick that, that, that. Now, oh, gee, I can actually read this. And yeah, you can still play the video if you want. I don't want. Here's his proposal, and this shows you the guy cannot think his way out of a paper bag. I'm not saying the other Republicans are any better, but he's a good case in point because everybody says he's so smart. Okay, look at this. Imagine 4.9 million new jobs. Nobody in government can guarantee you new jobs by any number. These are just made up numbers. Instead of Obama's income stagnation, imagine average wages rising 12% over the next decade. Honey, no matter who's president, they would rise at least by 12% over the next decade. It's called inflation, and that's where we're headed, no matter who's president, because we still got to underwrite and pay for the war 
from 2003. Capital investment rising 43.9%. Yeah, when you have inflation, capital investment has to rise too. And every income level seeking double-digit increases in after-tax income. Yes, that's a product of inflation, dummy. Imagine exports and manufacturing jobs booming. They won't be booming when there's inflation and stagnation, which is what he's going to produce. Watch. How trade deficit falling as the tax bias against American-made goods is eliminated. That's what he's claiming his proposal will do. Imagine a 10% income tax with every American filling out his or her taxes on a postcard and abolishing IRS as we know it. I, I don't know who's dumber, Obama or this guy. Now here's why. It should be obvious just from hearing him talk. And then here's the pep speech. I'm not even going to deal with that. Under the simple flat tax, the current seven rates of personal income tax will collapse into a single low rate of 10%. And for a family of four, the first 36000 will be tax-free. Do you know what that would do to the economy? Okay. He would have to cut 50% of our federal budget in order for this to actually, you know, work. Okay, I'm going to have to, I can't, I'm going to have to not highlight the colors. Okay, oh no, I, I'm going to have to. All right, see, it's how bad his website is designed. All right, so I have to do it backwards. Well, maybe I can do it for, there we go. You can read that, right? For a family of four, the first 36000 will be tax-free. The child tax credit will remain in place. And blah, 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 blah. You, you can't have this kind of system. Okay, this can only come after you cut pretty much everything in our budget. All right, you have to eliminate all of our federal budget now for this to actually work. Okay, is, is it ideal? Yeah. Can it be realized? No. And you wouldn't need a child tax credit. It's just, it's just all bogus words. And modernizes the income, earned income credit. Honey, if the first 36000 is tax-free, then you don't need a child tax credit, and you don't need an earned income tra tax credit, because, duh, the, fir the purpose of a tax credit is to make your income tax-free. If it's already tax-free, this child tax credit ends up being zero because you're not paying any tax. See, how, how do I want to put this? A, a child tax credit means that you're already paying taxes and you get a credit against the taxes you're going to pay. Okay, but if you don't have any taxes, the tax credit is zero. And if the first 36000 is tax-free, there is no tax credit. The same is true for the earned income credit, which is both of which are for incomes under $36,000. So who wrote this description? An idiot. This, this whole sentence doesn't even belong. If this is true, then this is redundant and equals zero. Okay? As a result, the simple flat tax will ensure that low and middle income Americans have greater opportunities. No. Okay? And then here's his next big stupidity. The IRS will cease to exist as we know it. There will be zero targeting of individuals based on their faith or political beliefs. There will be no way for thousands of agents to manipulate the system. There's no way to do that now. The closest thing to profiling that's done is not done. You can't, you can't find out their political beliefs and you can't find out the faith of a taxpayer. The only thing you can find out is whether he's got a foreign last name. And so if a bunch of people with 
say an Indian last name, get involved in tax scams, then yeah, they do a profiling with Indian last names on tax scams. It has nothing to do with faith or belief. And that's not manipulating the system. It's just a simple search. Here's this tax scam. It's housed in Arizona, so we're going to target everybody that's investing in this tax scam because you have to have a list of who's investing in a particular thing that you sell. Investments have to have owners. The investment owners have to file, it's a kind of a K-1 or some other kind of tax, you know, form. So then the IRS cannot cease to exist. If you have to file a tax return, whether it's a postage stamp or on your iPhone, there has to be an IRS to get it, to look at it, to see if you filed it correctly. You cannot eliminate the IRS. So this guy is dumber than a stump when he says this. Okay? Now watch. Here's the next stupidity. For businesses, the corporate income tax will be eliminated. Now that's simple language, right? Let's do it one more time. For businesses, the corporate income tax will be eliminated. Now watch. It will be replaced by a simple business flat tax at a single 16% rate. Okay, excuse me? Then the corporate income tax is not eliminated. And a business flat tax at 16%, okay, is actually much higher than the taxes now. Worse, okay? If it's a business flat tax that the corporations have to pay, because a corporation is a business. You can incorporate and be a business. You can be a partnership in a business. You can be a sole proprietorship in a business. Or you can be something that's a hybrid called a limited liability corporation. So it's, this is a lie. There's no tax being eliminated. He's changing the tax to 16%, but that's not what he said. He says, we're eliminating it. No, that's a lie. So what, you didn't proofread this before you put it on your website? That nobody, by the way, can access. Somebody has to give you the link because you can't access it from his main page. How do you know that it says tax plan after tedcruz.org? You don't. See, this guy's a jerk. He's not really good at, at, at hiring people, that's for sure. 16% right now in the current tax system, okay? The tax rates are 10%, 28%, 36%. It kind of depends on the kind of business you are, what the tax rate is. But it's not eliminating all the deductions. Once you have enough deductions, you might end up paying zero tax. Now, why is paying zero tax a good idea? Now, I, I want you to think about this. When you go to the store, you buy groceries. The place where you're buying groceries is a business. The price it has to charge you for the groceries has to include the taxes it's going to pay the federal government. That's how it gets its money to pay the federal government, is from you buying its products. So the price it must charge you for its products has to include the taxes it's going to pay. That's where it gets its money from, is you. So now look, you're already paying income tax. Because there's a tax on the business, here's 16%. That means that 16% of your grocery bill is paying for the taxes to the business whose groceries you bought. So you're paying your own income tax, plus you're paying the tax that the business is paying to Uncle Sam. So you're paying its tax and your own. So if there was no business tax, 
that everybody who worked at the business would be paying their single income tax and then whatever they purchased would not, would not, would not have an extra 16% cost. And it's really more than 16% because you got the overhead of accounting for the tax and collecting the tax and sending the tax to the government. So you basically have to double that. Whatever a tax rate is, the actual cost of it, including handling, is double. So here he says 16. That's equivalent to you paying your own income tax plus another 32% of your grocery bill, 32% in order to pay for the taxes on your groceries that have to be forwarded to the federal government. So how come Ted Cruz is so damn dumb he doesn't know that? Okay? And then it gets even worse. The current payroll tax system will be abolished. The payroll tax system pays for Social Security while maintaining full funding for Social Security and Medicare. Social Security has no money in it. Medicare has no money in it. They're bankrupt. The only thing that's in the trust fund for Social Security is a bunch of IOUs because the government has been stealing the Social Security money for the past 40 years. So if you're going to eliminate the current payment because that's all that's keeping Social Security afloat. If you're going to eliminate current payroll tax, then Social Security is bankrupt. There's no money available to pay it at all. The only way people are getting their Social Security checks now, the only way, is they're getting it through the current payroll tax. In other words, you go, you work at your office, the, the taxes taken out of your income is about 8%, and then there's another 8% that the employer has to pay for you. That all goes to Social Security. The money that you're taking out of your paycheck right now, today, is going to pay for somebody's Social Security check that they're getting today. There is no savings. There is no bank account for Social Security. So there is no full funding. Social Security has never, ever, ever been full funded. Never. Now, I used to be on Capitol Hill. When Senator Long was there, I was working with some guys, and they were talking about this very problem I'm telling you right now. Because Social Security wasn't funded, I was there 40 years ago. Okay, they were trying to create a proposal to fund Social Security because there's no money in it. There was no money in it 40 years ago. There's no money in it now. They couldn't come up with a good plan. Okay, so either this guy is lying. Okay, of course, you know, he's only 40 some years old. I'm 62. All right, and I refuse to collect Social Security for the reason that I'm telling you right now. I'm old enough to get it. I don't want to get it because there's no money for everybody else. Okay? If this guy, Ted Cruz, is so damn dumb, he doesn't understand that this whole sentence here is a great big fat lie and impossible, then why is he running for office? He shouldn't even be, you shouldn't even vote for him for dog catcher. Okay? Then he says, the convoluted tax code will replace with new rules of the game. So simple that you can do your taxes on a postcard. Huh? That means there are no deductions. Okay? It, you see, where is the money going to come from to fulfill that promise? It can't be done. This is going to increase your taxes by 32%. Your cost of living by 32 percent. All right? If he eliminates all the deductions, all right, then it's more than 32 percent because business is surviving now on deductions. That's what I do for a living, is I, I help clients figure out to get deductions so they don't have to pay so much tax, and therefore their costs of their services and their products to their clients is lower, so everybody saves money.
This is this is baloney. Okay, the death tax will be eliminated. That's good. The alternative minimum tax will be eliminated. What that means is that if you have a certain income, like over a hundred and some thousand dollars, then the government says, well, you got to pay at least twenty percent tax. All right. Tax on profits earned abroad will be eliminated. Now, tell me how much sense that makes if you're a conservative. I'm making profits uh, and that I earn abroad, and they're not going to be taxed. So the cost of working and doing stuff abroad is lower, but there's a business flat tax of 16% on the profits I make here. So Americans have to pay more, but the people abroad will pay less? How patriotic is that? Okay? And of course the Obamacare taxes will be eliminated. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, everything the government touches turns to doo-doo, so keep government as small as possible. Also gone will be the unending loopholes in the current code, depreciation for business, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, see that? The reason why your grocery bill isn't higher than it is is because of all those loopholes. Because businesses are being taxed, and you have to pay for it in the cost of the goods and services. That's where they get the money from to pay Uncle Sam. And the only reason your grocery bill isn't higher is because of all these loopholes. That's what I do for a living. And I don't mind losing my job. I got other things I can do. God will give me something else. But it's because of the deductions against the income taxes for business that you don't pay $15 a loaf of bread. Okay? Because on the one hand, they say, well, you got a 30% tax, but see, if you, have, if you can depreciate your equipment, and say, okay, well, I paid a million dollars for my equipment, and if I can write off that million dollars, then that means that's a million dollars less of tax I pay, and then the people who I sell to, they don't have to pay for my million dollars of tax. They just saved a million dollars just like I did. Okay? So this guy's nuts. He has absolutely no understanding whatsoever of economics. Okay, under the simple flat tax, the internet remains free from taxes. What is this sentence for? The internet is already free from taxes. How is the simple flat tax going to make the internet free from taxes when it's already free from taxes? Yeah, the results will be truly dramatic. Yeah, truly dramatic stupidity. Okay, according to the well respected tax foundation. Where? Give me proof. Who, who, tax Foundation's a generic name, honey. Give me a link. Give me proof. Okay? This is all baloney. He's just making up the numbers. Okay? Just making up the numbers. All right? That's enough. The guy lies against the Bible. All right? There's more I could say, but this is enough. He doesn't have the first understanding of economics. He's, he's just as bad as Obama. Okay? Now, if it's not Ted Cruz, then who? And the answers are all bad. 